friends. I'm going to make something that's quite healthy and very, very easy to make. I'm going to make carrot fries. So, when I do my carrot fries, I just cut them into chunks. Now they go all over the place. Just like you would cutting them for carrot sticks. Okay? Real easy. Cut them all up. Put them in your bowl. Cut that in half. This one can be a long one. Okay, put them in the bowl. And I leave the skins. These have all been washed and, and cleaned. I just leave the skins on them because it helps them keep their shape. And it's also more nutritious that way. As long as you clean them, you can do that. Just make sure you clean them real good. I make these quite a bit. And lately, I've been on a eat, eating kick. I've been hungry. I don't know. I'm craving something. Been hungry for something. So all I'm going to do is make these. These are healthy, good for me, and I can munch on all I want. Okay, with that, I got them all in there. I'm going to take and just drizzle olive oil on them. Oh, about a couple tablespoons. I'll do a little bit more. And I'm going to use some of my house seasoning, which has got salt, pepper, and garlic in it. I'm going to sprinkle that in there. I believe I, I'm going to use a little extra pepper, too. I like them a little more peppery. You certainly don't have to, but I'm just going to put a little extra pepper on them. Wonderful. This is the easiest thing in the world. And then I just take and I just toss them. Toss them to coat. Now you can do it with your hands. Doesn't matter. Just as long as you toss them around, get them all coated real good. I've got my oven preheating to 400 degrees. little pan here with my parchment paper on it. I'm going to lay them on there and I'm going to spread them out a little bit so they're not on top of each other and they're not crowded because I want them a little on the crispy side because that's what I'm hankering for. So there's that. Very easy. Very quick. I'm going to put them in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. And uh, if you like them not so crunchy, then take them out sooner. If you like them a little extra crispy, leave them in for about 40 minutes. And that's how simple that is. And as soon as they're done, we'll be back. Okay, I figured while those are baking, I'll bring you back and show you exactly what I do to make my dipping sauce. And by the way, I had mentioned in a video earlier that the fries bake for 40 minutes. Lord have mercy, I have no idea what I was thinking, but they only bake 15 to 20. So anyway, I'm so very sorry that I told you that. I just misspoke. Anyway, okay, to begin with, this is a real simple to put together, and you can use it on all kinds of fries. Anyway, so I've got two tablespoons of sour cream and two tablespoons of mayonnaise in my little bowl here. And to that, I'm just going to add some of my house blend. About a teaspoon, good teaspoon of it. Okay? That's got garlic, pepper, and salt. And of course, you, you know, can make this a little bit different, however you like. But this is how I make mine. And then I take just a pinch of my uh, parsley and I put in there and of course my secret I love my dill weed I'm gonna put just a little bit of dill weed because this is absolute wonderful stuff just a little bit that is wonderful with my dipping sauce I just love that okay that's it now we're just gonna mix this blend it And this is going to be good. I can't wait till they're done. 
I've been hungry for these for a few days now. Don't you hate crazy cravings? I don't know what I've been craving lately, but this sounds good, so I'm going to give this a whirl. All right, I got those all mixed together. I'm just going to put it in my nice little bowl here. Don't have to make a whole lot for me because this, this is just for me and that's a plenty. You can make as little and as much of this as you want. And that, friends, is good. Nothing like dipping sauce. So there's a nice little dipping sauce for my carrot fries. And it's good. It tastes good. It tastes garlicky. And I can taste that pepper because I, I love pepper. And I've got extra pepper on my um, carrot fries. So anyway, we'll let those finish baking. I've got about a minute left to go. And when those are done, I'll bring you back. Okay, friends. These are done. And look at how beautiful those are. Let me move this down just a little bit so you can see those real good. There. Those are wonderful. I'm going to take my little spatula here. And I'm just going to line these on my plate. These are fantastic. And I don't have to share these because my husband hates cooked carrots. But I love them. I think they're fantastic. They're wonderful for you. This is a healthy, low-calorie um, snack that you can enjoy. Nice way to uh, get your carrots in. You know, people munch on carrots and celery, and my gosh, I don't know about you guys, but I gained, I gained some weight over the holidays, and I certainly have to do my best to get back on track and get it off, and this is the perfect thing to do. Anyway, take a look at that. What a beautiful treat that is. So, these are screaming hot. I'm not going to try it right now, but I'm going to let it cool a few minutes and I'm going to give it a try. But in the meantime, you make them because you'll love them. They're fantastic. They're low calorie. They're wonderful. They're tasty. And you, can, you don't have to use the dipping sauce. You can, of course, use light, you know, low calorie um, mayonnaise, uh, low calorie um, the sour cream and uh, any spices and herbs that you want. It's fantastic. What a treat. So there you have it. Nice little healthy treat. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.